Hi guys, good afternoon. Mayong uh, hapon sa Philippines. That is my husband Zach and my son Jormin. We're having a fishing lesson. You got it. You want to get the last up and over. We're having a fishing it's, it's next week. It's not gonna week. roll like that on the water. It's gonna get soft way before you get there. We'll you have, have to, a fishing to, next week, Wanga. Hopefully, hopefully this weekend, maybe. Okay. You have to get it to so loft like you were doing nice earlier. very nice weather this afternoon. This is their pool, but there's no water. Well, we have to get it clean. Yeah. There you go. That's better. We started draining it today to get it ready to clean it. I had it empty before I went to the Philippines in February, but it rained so much we filled it back. It filled back up. Mm -hmm. Yep, you got it right on the brick. Good job. Okay, the guapa Filipina needs to to B. Okay, okay, B out. Can I can I turn the camera sideways to get a wider picture? Is that okay? No, no, that's fine. This is fine. Yep. Oh, yeah. Not bad. I will not press, no. No. Once you, once you, once you press it and grab a hold of the line. Yep. Yep. Now grab the line. Yep. Get, don't, don't touch the button now. You don't have to. Uh, there you go. Now swing it. Swing it like a pendulum, and make sure you get a good loft in the air towards the brick. Try to go for the brick. That's not bad. You're not uh, you're not swinging it hard enough. But that's how how I do it. Well, that might be how you do it, but you're not going to get very far if you keep doing it that way. This is just one way of casting. There's many many ways to cast. Let more let more line out to where the pin to where it swings the the line to the bobber. Let more line out. There you go. See, you're not bad. You're just not doing it hard enough. Here, let me show you. Okay. Because when it when it swings. Okay, so when it's swinging, you want to let go. You want to let go when it's swinging when it's right out here. Oh, this is when you want to let okay. go because then it will continue on out. Mm. So that's where you, you want to try to let it, as it's swinging, when it gets to the top, that's when you want to try to let it go. That okay. way it, it won't come back, it'll go on. Okay. So, you get your length. You can get a long length or a short length, depending on what you want. Whoopsie. See? Mm. Within a foot yeah. of the brick. My turn. I mean... Hi. Mm -hmm. See how yeah, I, see you how get you it. Get, and then yeah. you start right down top. But if the fish are scared, then you can do it back and then roll it to where you want. So that's uh, what's the name of that? Um, I just call it lobbing because you're, you're, you're lobbing it out there. In an American term, it would be the lobbing. first one that you teach us. So oh, the, this teach. one is just. I don't know if they have a name for it because I've never learned one, but. This is a regular cast. Now, man, he keeps bringing it way back here, but you don't need to. You can hit the button here and mm. just mm. right out there because That's because the pole is a spring. See that? That's a spring. Mm. So you don't have to you don't have to bring way back behind. So today we have two two ways. Yeah, and then and then I taught Jormin overhand. We were overhanding into the pool where you just nice and gently mm. and you reel it out of the pool. Mm. But overhand is just a different version of the, from the side. Mm. But if you're in a if you're in a tight spot where you can't overhead cast and you can't do like this, you can take your pole and swing it back and forth, and you can you can get out to where you want if you're in the trees. Mm. So that one you you can it's actually really handy the one where the you pendulum swings. That uh, the first one it's just a one oh my God. normal one long. Basically. Mm. Okay. Some people have a fishing pole that's really, really long, mm -hmm. like 12 feet, and they can they can just stick it out there and drop it down, and they'll 
they'll wiggle. Remember, like I showed you at Walmart, they'll, they'll wiggle their hand mm. and the end of the pole sits there and does this because mm. it's really long. This, this used to be longer. It's been broken. Mm. But this used to be, this would, I could touch the swimming pool from here. Oh. And then you could just take your hand and, and, and just barely move your hand and you see the tip out moves. But this one has been broken. It's not mine. It's Eldon's. Mm. But that's why it doesn't go down in because there's supposed to be layers and layers for it to go way out. That way you can, you can stick it in the brush and you can just sit there and wiggle it. And it'll wiggle the bait in the water and it'll come up and grab it and then you just reel them in. So when it's wiggle, that's... Uh... Jigging, That's... jigging the bait. You're jiggling the bait. So oh, call it jigging. okay. So you know it, you already catch fish because it's something like oh, heavy. Oh, if, if the fish grabs a hold of your lure, the, the tip of a pole, if it's a really long one, it'll go like that. Just, oh, it'll bend like mm, it's gonna break. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, okay. Understand. This one here, it's a heavier pole uh, for kids, so you can fish for lots of things. So mm. it'll bend, but not as much. Yeah. So that's for today, guys. Bye. Bye, Min. Bye. Bye, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye, Bye. Young Day.